Chaos isn't necessarily a bad thing. All of nature is chaos. Every 10 minutes, Bitcoin seems to have governance because a new block comes out. Out of chaos, order, extreme order, extreme predictability, extreme determinism. And that's, you know, that's the state in my mind. You know, when I first got into this space, I, I, I thought that Bitcoin was an interesting kind of proof of concept thing. When I got into Bitcoin, part of the reason why I got into it was I looked at a system and thought, this is definitely going to be very politically charged. And that was actually one of the things that interested me. So, uh, first of all, I fully agree with Andreas, how he described the case. So, the, first of all, it was chaos. And right now, I think the Bitcoin is just in the middle stage. So, it's natural evolution when it was happening. This is, we're talking about money here, and we're talking about money that is not controlled by any government, that isn't controlled by any corporation. I would have never imagined two years ago that all of a sudden now Bitcoin is a thing that the, their customers are calling up and asking for Bitcoin. Now, 80 million dollars. 10,000 Bitcoins. This was the price that one of the software engineers paid for a pizza in 2009, I think. Part of the reason why we're all here, because this is an amazing fact. I was fascinated by the idea of a decentralized currency. So I would like to wish you all guys be uh, very focused today. I, I really understand that you will be learning a lot of new things and some of you will be sharing. Uh, I'm really happy to have you here and uh, good luck to this conference. Thank you very much.